welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to try out the brand new Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell because when you do, you'll be one of the first people to know whenever I release a new video. So this mascara is not available yet in Dubai. I had to buy it from the US and have it shipped over. I'm guessing it's not available yet because of the name. We do have the very famous Better Than Sex mascara sold here, but it's sold as Better Than Love. So my guess is Too Faced right now is working or has already developed a another name for this mascara and hopefully it'll hit the stores soon. So I was really excited when they released this because the Better Than Love mascara is my absolute favorite and it seemed like this one may just be a little bit better. So I'm gonna open this up and like the Better Than Love mascara, it does have a series of percentages with 97% of people said they saw full on volume, 100% said they saw intense black lashes, 99% said they saw long wearing results, and 95% said they saw long lasting curl, and that is in a consumer study of 104 women. And it does say this is a 24 hour mascara. Personally, I don't wear mascara for 24 hours, but I guess if you do, that could potentially <laughs> work for you. It has an infinity brush, which is engineered to hug, lift, and curl each lash. Short bristles load the formula for immediate release and long bristles comb through to dispense product evenly for shocking volume, outrageous curl, and shamelessly thicker lashes. Damn girl, you look good. And it also says whipped melting waxes melt into each other to create one weightless super layer. Lash lash suspension polymer, lifts and locks and curl, and hydrophilic black creates shamelessly rich black lashes. So this is what the tube looks like. It is this metallic, kind of a smoky pink, says Damn Girl on the package, has a bit of a sharp edge to it, and I do notice that as I touch it, my fingerprints are all over the place. The Too Faced Better Than Love has more of a brushed kind of look to it, so I don't see my fingerprints on that one. So when I open it up, first thing I'm noticing here is that this part of the wand is huge, and the bristles definitely have that infinity shape that the back of the package mentioned. There is a little bit of extra product on the tip, so I will just sort of take that off. And this is what the bristles look like. So far, it's looking good. So I'm going to apply this directly onto my lashes with no primer. In my previous review of the Kat Von D mascara, I did use a primer and a bunch of people told me they wish I hadn't. So I won't this time, and I'm going to put this on my lashes, so let's see how it goes. So oh, here is with the mascara, and here is my lashes without. So I'm just going to put it back in the tube, get some more product on that brush, and now do my left eye. That's with one round on my lashes, and you can see exactly how they look with this mascara. I'm gonna go through and put one more coat on. This is the mascara on my lashes. Two generous coats of the product on. I do have a little bit of mascara that has gone onto my eyelids, so right now I'm just going to quickly remove it. So I just cleaned up the mascara that was on my eyelids, 
And this is how my lashes look. As of right now, I am thoroughly impressed by this mascara. This is pretty much everything I want in a mascara. The formula is a bit more on the drier side, which is what I like because I cannot stand wet mascaras. It's thick, it's made my lashes look thicker and longer. I mean, what else could I ask for? The color is a very nice dark black and I feel like my lashes just look so pretty. Too Faced does not disappoint when it comes to mascaras. Honestly, I am just loving the way my lashes are looking. What I'm going to do is check in with you in about an hour and a half and we'll see how my lashes look, if they've fallen at all or if the mascara is running underneath my eye, anything like that. Then I will check in one more time later on today and we'll see at that point in time what my lashes look like. So I'll be back real soon. Hey everyone, so I am just checking in with you. The mascara has been on my lashes for a good hour and a half. My curl is still looking amazing. Uh, they haven't fallen at all and to be honest, I almost feel like I'm, look, like I'm wearing false eyelashes. My eyelashes have never looked this nice. I am very, very impressed with this mascara so far. My lashes just look so long, so thick and lush, and I just, I can't even believe these are my eyelashes. So right now I am going to head out to the mall for a late lunch, and then my husband and I were taking our kids to see a movie. We're seeing The Secret Life of Pets 2. So after that, when we get back home, I will just do one more check-in with you guys and let you see how my lashes look and we'll decide what we think about this mascara. So see you very soon. Hey guys, so it is 6.45 at night and the sun is starting to set, which is why my lighting looks a little bit different. I just got back from the mall and the movies with my kids and my husband and I wanted to quickly just check in with you so we could do our final thoughts on this mascara and I can show you how it's worn all day long. My lashes are still completely curled and they look phenomenal. There is no smudging, no smudging underneath my eyes and I'm so impressed because typically I always feel that I need to use a mascara primer in order to get my curl to stay and to keep the mascara actually on my lashes. Typically, if I don't use a primer, I get tons of smudging underneath my lashes and as you can see on my face, it's just not apparent at all. So this mascara is my new favorite mascara and I can't believe I'm saying that because I have used the Too Faced Better Than Love mascara for years. But at this point, I think this one is even better. And maybe I'll do a follow-up video of the damn girl on one eye and the Too Faced Better Than Love on another eye and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. But for now, I have to say this mascara is just phenomenal and I really recommend picking one up if you can. I know it's not available here in Dubai yet, but if you have someone traveling this summer or if you have some means of getting one of these from the US, I highly recommend that you do. The mascara has not irritated my eyes at all and I do have very sensitive eyes. It's just made my lashes look so full, so long, my curl is held and there is absolutely no smudging. So I just love, love, love this mascara and I highly recommend it to everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review and demo and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.